Hey everyone, we're gonna do something a little bit more unusual today. This is my brother's uh, Scotty Kilmer mobile. It's a 2000 Toyota Tacoma. Uh, it's a four x four with a five speed, 2.7, uh, straight four. Uh, 150 horsepower, 177 pound-feet of torque. Um, he got it not too long after I got my Q5. Um, so that's my idea of a utility vehicle, this is his. Um, 1200 bucks. yes it's on the original frame. I have a whole list of stuff that he's done to it. So he, he got a great deal on it. It's got about 207,500 miles on it. Um, it is Imperial Jade Metallic, um, or as some may refer to it now, Imperial Jade Scratch Talic. But you know, <laughs> it's a 20 year old truck with over 200,000 miles on it. It's really not that bad. Um, got aluminum alloy wheels here as you can see. Um, a lot of new parts, some junkyard stuff. Um, overall, it's in pretty good shape. Drives fine. I've driven it around. It's, you know, plastic bed liner on here. You just got the window tinted there. Um, I'll go over the list of upgrades that he's done to it. But the whole front end is new. Um, almost all of it, I should say. The only thing that's not original, um, I mean, the only thing that is original is these bumper lights and this Toyota emblem. Because this was kind of bashed in, so it's got new chrome, new new uh, headlights, new aftermarket grill, um, new bumper on it. Um, so I fixed it up real nice. Uh, we'll take a look inside. Uh, the oak cloth interior. Uh, pretty basic as you can see, the original steering wheel of course. Um, bucket seats, new console lid. This is from a 4Runner. Uh, so I got that fixed up. Cleaned up pretty good. Like I said, it's a 5-speed manual aftermarket stereo but all right let's pop inside it's cold i'll start it up in a little bit but i just want to don't want to idle away all the gas while i'm going over this long list i had my brother right because i couldn't remember everything whoops <laughs> every single time you're going to back up a regular cab pickup truck be prepared to break your elbow i've done that about 50 times driving this truck when i have oh here's the key aftermarket but you know let's stick it there for now okay here we go upgrades engine oil filter air filter power steering fluid front and rear diff fluid transfer case fluid manual transmission fluid valve cover gasket uh, spark plug tube seals spark plugs rear shocks rear u joint front driver inner tie rod alignment parking brake joints lubricated the previous owner had just put a new windshield on looks real good um clean the mass airflow sensor Vacuum hoses. Oh yes, there's more. Solenoid switch valves for the check engine light. Two of those. I'll show you where those are under the hood. So there's no CEL anymore. Tailgate latch. Braid the bed rails. You can kind of see on the top there. It has like a kind of spray on bed liner kind of protective stuff on the rails there. Um, painted the frame. All the skid plates inside and out. He got a cool little kit on Amazon or something for doing that. So it's all coated. That came out good. Driver door lock fixed. I pulled the dash apart to fix one of the lights back here in the dash. That's all set. I already mentioned the console lid and the new front end, the tinted window. He's still going to paint the wheels and caps and get some new tires for it. And probably take the bed out and do some more bed protection. And fuel filter still on the to-do list. Um, I did forget to mention, though, that this being a four-wheel drive pickup, uh, it does actually have locking hubs, so you have to lock these guys up. They're in the unlock position now, but hopefully next time you guys see this truck, um, the wheels will be in better shape, but you know, welcome to Vermont. So you can see the frame, did a real nice job. Paint's all painted inside and out. Skid plates are all done. Uh, take a look, probably see a little bit more in the back here. It's a little dirty, but you see the frame's all, you know, nicely painted, uh, painted and protected. It's in decent shape, but we'll just fire it up real quick. Look under the hood. I said before, it's five-speed manual. Shifts pretty good. Throws are well, yeah, not too, too long. You know, it's a truck. But, you know, it's all right. Transfer case here. Glove box. Manual climb control, of course. Uh, but, uh, yeah, let's uh, start her up and see how she runs. can see 
207,000 miles on it. No check engine light and headlights on. Everything lights up, heat works good. Take a little peek under the hood. I think that worked. Here's some new hoses and stuff. Those are the two sensors he replaced that you can see. Look at this. Couple new hose lines. Yeah, it runs real smooth. See how she sounds just a little bit. No, it runs smooth, drives pretty good. Good cheap little truck. He's got about, so he spent 1200 bucks on it, like I said. Adding all that stuff up, he probably spent, I'd say about as much as he paid for the truck on. So for a total of about 23, 2500 bucks, good cheap little pickup. Four wheel drive, it's Toyota. It's got a Kilmer, would love it because it's got the standard transmission. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, just thought I'd show it to you guys. I think it was kind of cool. Neat little survivor. Works good. And uh, yeah. I'll well, cut her off and I'll uh, leave you one more parting shot of the Tacoma. Maybe we'll get some driving videos of it at some other point in time, maybe. Yeah. And there you have it.